you guys. Let's get ready to jump into... Oh, there's dodos and pigs and everything left behind. This is the first match of our sub SOTF Friday where there will be a $25 cash prize winner for the first place contestant. We have 43 people falling down to the center right now. All these are awesome subs of the Force Nation. Now we're going to... Running out into the wilderness. A lot of them are, or do they go to the center and try to get some little uh, advanced techs? We'll see what they are doing. McKenna's coming to the center, so it's Gray Fox and Crunkasm. Tom the Tekker. Type is a type fool from Tom. Okay, interesting. Nova's here. Mr. Epic Man with the arm day. All right, you guys. Players has picked... Oh, we had like a little freaking six-way stop right there. Let's go ahead and see. Nope, they're just running out right now so far. Oh, Crunkgasm is getting that punch on the arms day. The arms day deciding to run for his life right now. It's just a little, a little banter at the beginning. You guys, our first evolution event is able to be voted on in chat. Do you guys want to see double taming, supply overload, or harvest bounty? Oh, it does look like Scorpion was taken out by one Raffy Pones. Scorpion was taken out by one runner a few pones. Go ahead and get your guys' bets in. We can see as the contestants start to go head out in each direction. Raffy Pones takes out Sir Shade. Block Monster takes out Red Beard. Roxy taken out by Funky Choo Choo. Yo, the fast bow, you guys. The fast bow is so strong. You lit <laughs> Uh, Galunga was taken out by Bobby from the real preggy factory. <laughs> yeah, we've got just a nice little punch fest going on here. We'll have to come back to that. GI Tech was taken out by Casador. Oh, Dragon S taken out by Jackman. Uh-oh, Jackman, what are you going to do with all the bugs on you, though? He's invincible, dude. They're not... Okay, now they're hitting him. Nova taken out by Blaze. We got McKenna and Nim going to battle over here. McKenna with the slingshot, Nim with the bow. This is a pretty one-way fight. Although McKenna does have at least one piece of hide on. Nim has nothing. Nim's starting to run because Nim's going unconscious. It's a slingshot versus... No, he has no more arrows. He's got no more arrows. Oh, M McKenna getting that slingshot in to do some work right here. Now he's out of stamina, starting to make arrows again. Now he's got arrows. He's back in the fight, but is it a little too little too late? Is she going to be able to land one or two more shots? Raffy Pones is on a killing spree, taking out Block Monster. I don't know. This is just too crazy over here. Oh, McKenna takes him out. Nim is being taken out. Now McKenna's just going to punch Nim down. And just like that, Nim is punched out of the game. We do have Moral Perplexity and Gray Fox over here next to each other. Gray Fox does see Moral. Moral, oh, just stand still, takes double headshots. You guys have to know what's around you at all times, man. Good game there, good game there. All right, Jelly Donut getting spit on by some Dillos at 26 HP. Jelly Donut needs to be careful. No one walks up and jumps on the... Now I want some food. Jelly Donut down to seven, six, five, five HP. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys. The five HP Jelly Donut. Looks like we got a three-way triangle over here. What the? What the hell? Dude, what the? What the hell? Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> Yo, Mr. Epic Man was taken out by Bobby. We do have a fight over here. It looks like Alex, my kingdom. Is going against, I can't even read the name, Dr. Leah? Dr. Leah. 28 HP. Alex about to finish the fight right now. And just like that, Dr. Leah taken out by Alex. McKenna was taken out by a trike. She survived the fight but then died to the trike, you guys. Looks like Lee Wynn was fighting her at the same time, though, and the trike did maybe AoE damage. Lee Wynn really likes the neck workout. Jelly does go down by the Mega Neuras. We were looking at Jelly earlier. Jelly is now down to Mega Neuras. We're down to 28 contestants, you guys. This has been literally a slaughter fest. We've got Benjo over here fighting Storm. Storm doesn't see Benjo. Benjo's walking up right next to him. Draws his arrow back. He's waiting for the shot. And just like that, he starts laying in a Storm Rider. Storm Rider full cloth. 
Harvest Bounty is your evolution event. This is really good for almost everyone, to be honest. You get your trank arrows and your tech and whatnot. Binjo is at 122 HP against Storm Riders, uh, maybe 70. Looks like 80 HP. Storm Rider jumps around the rock and lands right into Binjo, though. Down to 50 HP. Now Dillos are joining the party, dude. This is an orgy over here. Oh, down. Oh, that arrow hit, but it didn't do anything. Oh, 29. Yo, good night, Storm Rider. GG, bro. GG. We do see the brown, dude. Tribe the back door, Mr. Brown Hole. He is out here fighting. What? There's a bro there's a Bronto on top of him. He is fighting a Rex. Looks like he's trying to trank that Rex. He's going in for the Rex. Dude, this Rex is pretty bloody though. Oh, is he good? He's just tanking the damage right now. No, Cool Runnings was killed by a level 33 Rex, dude. Oh my god. Yo, bobsled time. He died to a level 33 Rex. That's so crazy high. Wow, yo, can we get a wrecked and a rip in the chat for cool runnings? Rip, cool runnings, rip. Bobby over here deciding to get some tech in. Oh, we do have a fight going on. Tom the Tecker. Tom the Tecker is currently fighting Blazed over there. Ipex went down to stab me now. Stab me now is the resident mod maker for our for our uh, crunk cake hosted server. Stab me now got down to 25, but does look like stab me now is pretty safe. Oh, we got a spear fight. Brown going after Benjo. Brown at 43 life. Benjo 77. Brown takes a double headshot from Benjo 53. Benjo getting a kill. Let's see if that Rex did get put unconscious. Looks like the Rex actually died. So there is no... Oh, what's this? Nope, that's not a not unconscious Rex either. 27 minutes left, you guys. We do have lots of contestants still alive. 24 to be exact. Mrs. Bongo. Soldier 87 is better than Lucio. Huh. Who the hell could this be? Tekken over here at Dragoness's Hill. Is Dragoness in this game? Is that Dragoness? I thought I saw a Dragoness. Maybe I didn't. Maybe that is Dragoness. I don't know. Oh, we've got someone really far out here. Yo. Captain Cooked, Frank and Cat, way out here. Oh, we looks like we got a fight, including a Dillo right now. The Dillo spitting on the Jackman 808. He dodges that. A bird comes in, hits him. Jackman out of 44 HP. Jinsalock still at 126. 18 HP. The bird swoops in to deal some damage. Mega Neuros are here to clean up. But Jinsalock does walk away with the kill on Jackman. Jackman taken out. Jinsalock's going to have his way with the bird, whatever he wants. He's deciding just to kill it. He just has regular arrows, no trank arrows. Still plenty of life. He looks like he's going to be doing all right. Yo, Mr. Jat with the resub. Rawr, bro. Rawr, Mr. Jat. Thank you so much for that resub. That three years in a row. Yo, thank you guys for showing Jat some love in the chat. How's it going, Mr. Jat? Oh, it looks like he actually already has a bird down. It's almost tamed right now, you guys. That's pretty good for Jensalak. He's got no one else on his beach as far as we can see. Our next evolution event is in the chat right now. Feel free to go ahead and vote for it. Should it be double taming, mega cold, or herbivore drop? You guys get it in. We do have a fight from Grippy over here. Grippy's going against Roydry. Roydry just won our follower game yesterday. We had a follower Friday and Roydry won it. it. Looks like he's coming out on top of Grippy. Grippy's doing some crazy laydown action. 19 HP against 73. Roydry just needs to... Oh, 1 HP. Grippy's at 1 HP against the 50 and Roydry. Grippy, literally 40 of now. Wow. And with that, Grippy is taken out by Roydry. They're way out here, you guys, in the boonies. Grippy was taken out by Roydry. Now, this is interesting because Grippy normally techs out here. And Roydry is one of the few people that I've ever seen out here uh, along with only stab me. And Roydry did find him. He's going to be taking over that tech, though. Does look like we have uh, Tom the Tecker deciding to find out Gray Fox over here. Everyone is going heavy on HP and fighting early, it looks like. 
Wow, Gray Fox is really doing a chip. An ape just tamed. You guys heard that, right? You hear that noise? That means the ape did tame in the area. I just don't know exactly where, who, or what. But an ape has been tamed somewhere. P. Oh, and Tom the Tech are getting in on the fight against Gray Fox. Gray Fox down to 33 life already. Oh no, 8 HP broken bones. Tom the Tekker taking out Gray Fox. Going to be able to take over that teching area as well. And, and it, oh, they're on Evo Mountain's backside. And they do have an, a drop coming down. But it does look like Zalefast is on his way. Zalefast was the ape that we heard. If Zalefast could find that area, he might be able to take it over for himself now. Yo, bless the fall. You're not hearing it randomly. People are actually taming apes every time you hear that sound. It's just you could literally hear it somewhere. You know, it could be really far away. Now, if we look at this, you guys, is Tom the Tecker going to be moving in? Tom the Tecker has to see that airdrop, right? Groundhog was taken out by the Chipotle King. You guys, can we get a, can we get a type heart groundhog in the chat? All right, Tom the Tecker going in right now, about to turn the corner. And what does he see? He sees an ape here. Is he going to go and try to get this kill on Zalefast? One shot, two shots. He's starting to shoot right now. Zalefast is running, but now the ape is coming. And Tecker, what are you going to do now? What are you going to do? Oh, you're going to... Okay, all right, all right, you guys. He's going to parachute away. That ape is chasing him down, though. Is the ape getting stuck? The ape is getting stuck, but now still chasing... You guys, apes are like blood dogs. Uh-oh, he stopped parachuting. That ape is still coming. He got off his parachute. Now he's trying to get onto a rock that he could potentially perch the ape on. Lee Win was taken out by Raffy Pones in the, in the meantime. Okay, the ape is actually not able to get up there. He's got him perched right now, and he's just doing damage nonstop. A nice headshot drops it down to 488. Oh, but the ape gets up now. He's at 45 HP. Jump parachuting again. He's just... Hitting the ape over and over and over. The ape's down to 360 HP, but he's down to 24, and he's about to land in the water with potential Mega Piranhas. Ape does go down, and he lands on the other side, and literally with broken bones, kills the ape and gets away. Wow, what a great way to deal with that ape. Zalefast now might go hunting for him. Not sure. Oh, it does look like Captain Cooked has an ape as well, level 2. He's starting to look for Techers, and he's spotted one. He spotted Alex, and now he's trying to whistle it. The ape is going in, you guys. We're going to come in right behind the ape. Uh, never mind, he got stuck. Go up and over. Alex doesn't even know this ape is here yet. He's just working hard away, hoping that everything's okay. The ape is literally stuck on one little thing of obsidian. One thing of obsidian is saving Alex right now from this ape coming in. Now, Captain's about to run around and maybe try to get his ape to come in. I don't... This is... Really needs to figure out how to get this ape off the obsidian. Okay, the ape is off the obsidian, but he actually whistled on the base and not on Alex. He actually missed Alex. Alex is dropping everything to make sure he's not overweight. Captain Cooked is looking for Alex right now. Alex behind the metal. Getting ready to start dealing with that ape. Alex does now see Captain Cook. Captain Cook is looking for Alex still. This is literally, like, completely silly, dude. This is complete. The ape is using the bench. Okay, excuse me. This ape is a pretty evolved one. He was actually using the bench. Now he's going to start putting a uh, metal out. Oh, Captain Cook has found him now. The fight is on. But the ape, the ape is now going. Alex is taking damage. Down to 150 HP. Captain Cooked is just running in circles while Alex is trying to kill him. This is not looking good for Alex. Down to 50, 30, 10, and with one hit, Alex was taken out by the ape of Captain Cook. Just over the hill, though, we do have Mrs. Bongo. Mrs. Bongo probably does... Oh, Tom the Tecker was killed by Zalefast. Tom the Tecker from Types the Damn Fool was killed by Zalefast with poop, you guys. Yes, that was confirmed our first poop kill. That was our first poop kill. All right, as I did say, we have a Miss Bongo over here teching hard back here. It's actually a really cool place. I actually love seeing this. But I don't think Miss Bongo wants to meet Mr. Mongo. That's for sure. At least not yet, but Captain does have four furnaces going of metal with a smithy already. 
It's a pretty good setup. Oh, but it does look like she's coming in. She's got full chitin, and she's deciding to come check out this fight. Drawing her bow back, shoots once, but it desyncs. Hits one time. Unfortunately, the ape is now aggroed. She's got good armor on. But what is she going to do? Is she going to try to kill this ape? Can she best an ape? Can the Miss Bongo tame the Mr. Bongo? 90 HP. Now the trike is going to get it on the action. 40. Oh, perfect. The trikes are going to kill. Oh, the bongo's down. The woman always wins, you guys. The woman always wins. Miss Bongo takes out Mr. Bongo. Whoo. She's getting away right now, deciding to eat some meat and heal up. She's taking out the ape, whether she knows it or not. Miss Bongo, you guys, women always win. Women always win. Let me just tell you in life, you don't want to argue with them. They'll always win. Now, she's gotten away, and Captain has no clue what's going on. He's just going to go back to Tekken. It looks like he's looking around, but nothing's going on. The Jat Swarm is here, you guys. The Jat Swarm is here. With Swarm and Massive Fly. You guys, can we get some type monsters in the chat? A massive swarm of Mega Neuros are going to fall upon all the contestants across the map. And they have to figure out the best way to deal with them. Alright, we do see Quizzy with the highest tech we've ever seen. Quizzy, he's got a crossbow and chitin going up against the Chipotle King. Let's see, can he make this crossbow work for him? Crossbows are really slow reloads, but do some great damage if you do land a shot. The swarm is invading our chat right now. Best emote 2016. <laughs> oh. oh, he got hit down to 68 HP. Quizzy landed a nice shot. Can Quizzy land another one? He's in the air. That's a pretty easy shot to land if you're used to that. It got so quiet, you guys. It got so quiet. Oh, Quizzy does land another one. Set. Oh, two shots. Quizzy, you freaking aimbot cheater, dude. He switches from the shitty crossbow to his regular bow. Lands three in a row. Three up, three down. Just like that. A Rex does make off and eats the body of the Chipotle Queen. Quizzy, Quizzy goes ahead and kills the Chipotle King who was... The one to take out Groundhog. So Groundhog, remember, Quizzy does have your back. Yo, we got Blaze fighting Zailfast over here. Blaze full chitin. Zailfast only cloth. They're both about the same HP, but that shield did break now. And with the one, two, three, bega bing, bada boom, bada bam, Blaze does take out Zailfast. Looks like there was a little hardcore Harry going down over here. This was Zailfast's little tech area. Unfortunately, Zelfast didn't live long enough to see what was going to happen to it. We're down to just 14 contestants left. You guys getting an overview of the map. You can kind of see where everyone is right now. If we do go over it from top to bottom, we got Anna at 36, Benjo at 44, Bobby at 52, Captain at 44, Casador 53, 34 at the Crunk Gasm, Ghost Eyes at 28, 58 on Genstalock. 41 on the Miss Bongo, Quizzy at 45, Ralphie 47, Stab Me 29, Blaze 27, and Roydry 46. So lots of high-end levels. Just Luck might be our highest-end dude. He is over here teching on Volcano. He does have a bird that actually looks like the bird died to the Jat Swarm. This feels really bad. This was his tamed bird, and it was taken out now. Now it does look like he does have a trike down here, though. So that is interesting. Let's go check out what Ralphie Pones is doing. Rafi Pones does have uh, a two state, no, excuse me, an undead army coming together, a trike and a stego, as well as a level 13 Spinosaur. So Rafi Pones is going for the Thames right now. I do want to check in with Roydry, level 46, up there on the mountain all by himself. He's got full chitin now. Let's go ahead and check his taming area, or his teching area. Where the hell is he? Where's his teching area, you guys? It was around here somewhere, I thought. Oh, it's downy here. So he does, he does no fire going actually. He's got no fire going at all. Maybe he's looking for a tame or something right now because it doesn't look like he's deciding to tech past Kitan. I'm kind of surprised about that. Such a good setup, too. Ghost 
the Mega Man Ghost Eye level 47 has a level 43. Oh, Miss Bongo does take out Captain Cook with a pistol. We'll get there in a second. Mega Man with a level 43 Spino. This Spino has 3.5 thousand HP, you guys. And it does look like Miss Bongo found Captain Cook near his base and pistol whipped him in the head with that beautiful iron. That piece of shined iron that we're seeing. Scope is applied to that pistol. Mrs. Bongo, who says Soldier 87 is better than Lucio. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Is uh, now holding two bases. Miss Bongo will be able to do anything she wants with not three, but seven furnaces going nonstop. No one in the area, literally 10 minutes to just tech to her will. We do see a trike over here. The trike is currently of Alex chasing Raffy Pones. The herbivore drop is coming down. We are going to see mammoths falling upon everyone in the area. Wherever someone is, a mammoth just landed on their head. You guys, mammoths are excellent tames. Herbivore drop is one of the evolution events in the game. And if a mammoth does drop on top of you and you got nothing else going on, feel free to go ahead and tame it. Those things are champions, let me tell you. Dragon S is talking pretty liberally in my chat right now, so it makes me think Miss Bongo's not her. So, I don't know. Who do you guys think Miss Bongo is, you guys? Those are pretty little feet. Those are pretty little feet. I don't know who Miss Bongo is. We've got Quizzy still over here in his chitin. I don't know what he's doing. Stalking. Doing what he does best. Stalking. Oh, we've got a fight going on, maybe? The Spinosaur is up from Raffy Pones. It is pretty low on HP. And the Spinosaur from Mega Man over here. That's Dragoness's tech spot, but I did tech there once um, with Church. I very well could be Church. Church could be Miss Bongo. I don't know, though. I have no clue. All right. Raffy Pones with the Spinos closing in on the one and only Alex. Now, Raffy's about to whistle. It looks like he did get a whistle off, but I don't see much going on right now. Deciding to close in. There is a couple down dinos here. He's going to start putting some headshots in in the Crunkasm. Crunkasm taking some damage. The return damage, but no arrows actually hit. Oh, and now another Spino is about to come in from the back right now. This is going to be a three-way fight right now. Raffy Pones does not have his Spino. A third Spino comes in. Does Raffy spot it? He sees a Spino. Does he think that's his? He's like, hey, I thought this was my Spino. Mega Man gets the kill with the Spino. It's level 40. Freaking, what was it? 44 Spino gets a kill. Now Raffy Pones is going to jump on. It's a Spino v. Spino fight. But do you guys see what I see? 44 against 15. That's just not even close. But there is some Spinos coming in and deal, uh, Stegos, excuse me, coming in and dealing damage. Rafi Pones' Spino is almost down right now. It's about to go down in just seconds. 100 life and counting. 39, 4, it's down. Rafi Pones running right now. The Spino is doing massive damage. It's aggroing everything in the jungle right now. Turtles on it, Trikes on it, everything's coming after it. He's still chasing after Rafi Pones. Rafi Pones gets a nice jump off of one of the rocks with the parachute. So, at the bare minimum, Mega Man does take out one tribe and one Spino and still is alive. Stego's closing back in right now. He is taking damage by this Stego and doesn't seem to really... He's pinned in between the Stego and the Trike right now. Really needs to resituate himself. You guys, as soon as Moss gets a minute, he's going to open up bets for the final remaining contestants. We're going to have just four minutes to get your bets in. So, be ready to get your bets in. Feel free to check your FND ahead of time. By typing exclamation F and D. Raffi did get away, but it looks like his entire army's going down right now. And at what cost? I mean, he literally just got this Spino down to about half HP. That's it. Now, Raffi Pones, what does he have left? I don't I don't really know, you guys. 
Oh, it does look like I got graced with a delicious a monster. I'm not sponsored by them, but I would be, Kappa. Smells so interesting. Bets are open, you guys. Who do you think is going to win? One and two, Benjo. Three, Bobby. Four, Casador. Five, Ghost Eye. Six, Gensalock. Seven, Miss Bongo. Eight, Quizzy. Nine, Raffi. Ten, Stab Me. Eleven, Blazed. Or 12, Rodri. You guys, you're just going to have a couple of minutes. Uh, about let's, let's go four minutes. Four minutes, you guys. Max bet is 1,000. Feel free to get in as much F&D betted as you want. The more you bet, the more you'll win. Potentially, if you do win. Stab me over here has his own spinal level 15 with 2,000 HP already. I really like stab me's colors Really nice colors from stab me Let's go check in Roydry. What does Roydry have? Roydry has some birds you guys we we've seen what birds have done in the past and Roydry actually won our follower game I believe was it Roydry? I think so. Yeah, it was Roydry by doing something very similar to what he's doing right now Three birds mate boosted and now he's on the hunt Well, we know who church is church is Bobby, so let's go check what Bobby's doing Bobby is teching with an act. What the hell? There's a fabricator in our game <laughs> How do we have a fabricator in our game? Well, I didn't know Church was in the game, but it looks like Church is teching with a fabricator. <laughs> Can we get a damn fool in the chat, you guys? I didn't know who Bobby was, but it looks like Bobby's in the game with a damn fabricator. Uh, very, very interesting uh, development, you guys. There's actually a Rex right next to him. <laughs> Oh god. We do see some birds over here. Oh, there's a Rex up too, it looks like. A Rex by Casador. The birds picked him off. Now he just has to whistle. Is he gonna get the whistle? The birds are going in. Casador at 240, 218 life and counting. Right above the Rex's mouth. The Rex literally can't do anything. Casador dropping under 100 HP. Literally, as long as he can hold on for just a second or two more. He's about to die. One more hit, and boom. Casador is taken out, you guys. The Rex now is going to belong to Roydry, and Roydry has three birds with the player kill. Now, birds did do amazing things in our follower game yesterday. But, with that being said, we do know that there is plenty of techers in the game. And techers do counter birds very strong. You guys literally just a minute and a half left on bets. Exclamation F and E to figure out how much F and E you have. Exclamation bets. That's B-E-T-S. Space the amount of F and E you want to bet. Space the option you would like to bet. I'm going to tell you that over half of the F and E is ver bet on three, which is Bobby. If you bet something else and it wins and Bobby doesn't win, you will be getting a ton, a ton of F and E, let me tell you. We've got Quizzy in the Stalker Inc. Of course, he's doing what he does best, just laying down in the bushes. Just like Quizzy just likes to enjoy the scenery, you guys. He just likes to enjoy the scenery. Really, probably no plan in mind. I'm just really surprised he did what he did. Oh, we do see. We do see Benjo with the two Rexes over here. Both at 2,000 HP on Benjo. Benjo with two Rexes. We do see a Spino. The Spino is level 55 with 4,000 HP from Mega Man. We've got some really big tames in this game, you guys. Bobby. Bobby's still over here. Rex right next to him just eating things. I'm really surprised the Rex hasn't came over and messed with him. He's literally just sitting there while a Rex is just eating mammoths and stuff. And he's just going back and forth and crafting like a madman. Doing a really good job until that Rex decides that he wants to eat him. Now, where is he crafting at, actually? He must not be requiring too much metal. He's not even that close to the actual metal. I have no clue. There's... Okay, he's been running back and forth. He's been running back and forth deep into the jungle. That actually is going to take a lot of time. Bets have closed. 24,000 FND has entered with 67 contestants entering. Oh, it looks like we may have a fight over here, you guys. 
Oh, there was something going on. Some Rexes and stuff have been dying. Genstalock is in the area. Genstalock looks like he's been teching over here because, I mean, he was teching on the mountain, but then now he's teching here. I don't know what Genstalock is doing. Mrs. Bongo is now taking some damage. 16 damage from a Spinosaur. Mrs. Bongo. The Spinosaur from Tribe, please don't. That stab me, Spinosaur, did hit Mrs. Bongo. Mrs. Bongo got a pistol and a long neck, it looks like. Just 11 contestants left with 4 minutes and 20 seconds of the game. Let's go check out the Raffi Pones. Raffi's getting killed by a turtle in the water. Raffi literally has... Oh, he's got a Tranked Rex, actually, but does he have enough time? I, I'm gonna say he doesn't have enough time. That was pretty much a wasted endeavor, in my opinion. We'll see, though. Maybe he'll figure out a way to get it up, but... With the ring closing in this fast and it only being 20% tamed, I don't think it's going to do anything. Quizzy is getting in saying that he is stuck somewhere. Break the tree, Quizzy. Break the tree, Quizzy. Oh, he's laying down. He can't break it. Can you see if you could teleport Quizzy somewhere, Moss? Yeah, you might have to put it in cords or something. Quizzy's, he's laying down, stuck in a tree. The Ring of Death is closing in right now. Save him, Moss. Save him, dude. The Ring of Death is here. He can't. <laughs> he's trying to get out, but he can't. Yo, Quizzy, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. Why do you got to be laying down everywhere you go? <laughs> Moss, you saved him! Saved by the moss! You saved him, dude. We have a, we have a fight going on, it looks like. Uh-oh. Birds. Birds have Benjo right now. Birds have Benjo up in the air. Benjo's getting great damage, actually, on this bird. But Benjo's taking a lot of damage. He's down to 64, now 17 life. And Benjo's gone. Birds again. Now he needs to go down and claim these two Rexes. No, the Rexes were actually claimed by Mega Man, and now the birds are taking shots. The birds are taking shots. Mega Man claimed the Rexes. Mega Man has two Rexes at 2,000 HP. The birds did get the kill, but Mega Man stole the Rexes, and someone with a pistol is now dealing damage. I don't even know where that pistol came from. Dino Main took damage from Bobby. Oh, Bobby's up here, you guys. Where is Bobby? Bobby was sniping some shots from his pistol from all the way down here. Some insane damage. 117 damage a shot. Bobby has a metal shield. Full flak, it looks like. Level 61, which I believe is max. We've got Blaze just crawling up, hoping something's going to happen. All right, we're going to go check in with Raffy Pones really quick and see if he was able to make something with his Rex. No, he does have a Mammoth, though, but not a Rex. Oh, my God, dude. Look at this Ghost Eye. How is anyone going to take him out? A 4,000 HP Spino, two 2,000 HP Rexes. What's, what's anyone going to do? Quizzy's going to try to snipe from long range. That's what Quizzy's going to do. We have a Rex v. Spinal fight right now. Birds are actually coming in at the same time. Birds have Anne picked up right now. Anne is picked up. And birds are trying to deal damage to Anne. Anne's taking some damage. Anne's is Rex is being stayed down there. And stab me, stab me's getting shot right now by Jinsta. Anne was taken out by the Argentavises. They've been getting kills right now. Jinsta lock pushing in against stab me, stab me jumping back off on his spino. No, now he's jumping on his spino. The spino's coming in against Jinsta lock. Jinsta lock needs to reload and shoot this spino one more time. Only 220 life. He's getting bugged around on the table, reloading right on the tail. Excuse me. The the spino is down now. 
We're gonna have a, a gunfight over there, and we have an actual... I don't know what's going on over here. Broken legs almost. Jenstalock reloading his shotgun. 95 HP to the 40. He needs to land one more shot. He's switching to his pistol. Broke his legs. Stab me's broken legs. No spinal left. Stab me taken out by Jenstalock right now. We do see Rodri only has two birds left as those birds are taking damage. At the same time, the real Raffi Pone's laying down right next to the Spino and the freaking... Oh my god, that's crazy. We've got Bobby over here. Bobby's got Quizzy laying right next to him, but he doesn't see it as he's trying to use an assault rifle against these tames, you guys. Quizzy's laying down right next to Bobby. Everyone is hiding from these crazy tames. And it looks like the tames are starting to move out. Now he's getting stuck on his own tames, unfortunately. Miss Bongo over here is now getting picked up and dealt damage. Not being picked up, just being hit now. Miss Bongo has a pistol, but what is she going to do up against a 2,000 Rex and two birds? This might be the end of Miss Bongo, unfortunately. 8 HP. And just like that, Roydry now has full chitin and guns. If he does take it and get it, we've got Blaze laying in one of the trees right now. Quizzy walking up really close to Mr. Church. Quizzy literally passing right by him. Church hearing him, turning around, pulling out his gun. He's about to wait. He's waiting. He's not trying to move too much. He's waiting for the perfect opportunity. He's going to close it. Does he want to even kill Quizzy? He... Assault Rifle Bullets are definitely not at a premium right now. Does he even want to kill Quizzy, you guys? No, he looks like maybe he doesn't. We've got seven contestants remaining. Jinstalock hiding in a Spino. This is what he does best, you guys. We've got Roydry with uh, at, least, yeah, at least one bird left. No, two birds and a Rex. We have the massive tamed army right now i think uh no one's fighting i think it's time for a cardinal drop what do you think moss okay i think it's time to get a cardinal drop getting in here people are gonna have to start moving around rexes are dropping on top of everyone how is everyone gonna deal with this, this is gonna give away positions this is gonna make tame people fight this is gonna make non-tame people run you guys have to fight we want to see action 12 minutes left in this game and something better start happening blazed runs right by ghosts The Dodo style Genstalock's trying to kite away his dino. Quizzy kited his dino to the Spino. Blaze taking damage right now. Quizzy taking damage. Genstalock taking damage. Blaze in the middle of all these freaking big dinos. We've got Raffi Pones kiting around his Rex. Oh my god. Bobby, of course. Church just laying down, letting everyone else deal with it. Blaze taken out by the Spinosaur. Quizzy taken out by the Argentavis. And we're down to five, you guys. We're down to five. Raffi Pone's still over here trying to deal with this freaking Rex. Nothing right now. Oh, and it looks like a bird has picked up Raffi Pone's. He's got the whistle, it does look like. Raffi Pone's about to be taken out for sure. Okay, is there anything he could do with even only one bird? I don't think so. Genstalock laying down and hiding. It looks like some Rexes are coming in on him. Oh, the bird is actually parachuted down to the, the, the ground right now. Because Raffi got some great damage. Oh, now the Rex is here. This, this team is literally... Did one of the tame Rexes die? One of the Tame Rexes has died, and the Spinosaur is almost dead right now. Grenades came out, it looks like, from Genstalock. The Spino is dead. There's only one Rex left. This Genstalock has a shotgun. Is he going to try to kill Ghost Eye right now? One good shot does land and do some damage. Another shot does some more. He's going to his pistol now. Ghost Eye trying to run back to the Rex. Can he get some damage done in before he gets on that Rex? Oh, his Rex is actually done. Wow, two Rex is done as well. Ralphie Pones was taken out by the Argentavis finally from It's A Me. Mario, aka Rodri, we're down to just four people left now. Ghost with nothing. We've got Jensalock with guns. We've got Bobby literally just hiding this entire time. Don't think he's even taken a shot in the last five minutes.
Ghost Eye looking around. I don't know. Maybe it's time for Acid Rain now, Moss. We need to get some action going on. Genslock does seem to be chasing down Ghost Eye. Double taps and gets down to under 100 HP. Acid Rain is coming out now. We need to see some fights or that precious armor that you're going to be saving is going to run off. The Rex from Roydry is coming in now and starting to cram in damage. Looks like Ghost Eye is the target. Genslock's armor breaks off as another Rex is jumping in on him. Trackers will be next, I think. Tracker, trackers, I think, will be next. Ghost Eye was taken out by a level 1 Rex drop. Genstalock running from two Rexes over here. Let's get trackers, boss. Survivor Tracker will be the next one. Oh, damn. Nighttime. Daytime. Genstalock still running from the wild Rexes. Okay, now trackers are up. And it looks like Roydry. Who's he going after? Roydry going after Bobby. Bobby laying in with that assault rifle. Literally getting the Rex down to 600 HP. The Rex is getting melted, taken out with the assault rifle. Bobby still at 108 HP right now. Now he's going to start closing in on fighting Roydry. Or is he? Is he deciding to just run right now? I don't know what he's doing. Taking some shots right now. Oh, he landed a shot there. But damage is being returned back to him. Roydry has a gun of his own, it looks like. Oh, he's landing some more shots. He sees him laying down. He's trying to line up the shot right now. Maybe he wants to get on the Rex for a higher damage. He sees him. The tracker's right there. He can't be anywhere else besides under the tracker. A wild Rex does come in. Oh, but a shot is returned. Bobby goes down to 98 HP. A great shot by... Who was that by? Oh, he turns around with the assault rifle and sprays in. But down to just 22 HP. Rodri is going to be literally killed by this wild Rex, it looks like. The shield is holding him off for a second. 15 HP and counting. Is there anything that he could do right now? Is there anything he could do? Literally, the shield's about to break. And with the shield breaking, he is dead. It's now down to Bobby with no pants. Bobby's going to be going up against Genstalock. Bobby's starting to take some shots from range. Bobby's at 110 HP. Genstalock is at 73 HP. They're so close. Bobby does have really good armor. Genstalock doesn't have the best. Oh, Genstalock headshots Bobby coming around the side. Your winner, Tribe Dodo style. Genstalock, dude. You guys, can we get a GG in the chat, man? With that headshot, does 70. Wow, dude. Genstalock killing Bobby with that headshot. GG boys, GG. Waited for him to come around the outside and headshot at him. Whoo, Genstalock is your winner. Genstalock is your winner. Wow, boys. Good game, subs. Good game.